A tutorial on how to create these horns. First, I start off with a simple column shape like this and I add a texture to it. The feature we're going to use is called Array. It's in the Shape menu. Tap Curve. When I move the biscuit up, I can increase the count. It's overlapping one another and I pull it to stretch it. Bend it forward and increase the count to fill in those gaps. I can even size down the top part so it descends in size. It gets narrow at the top and I increase the count. I want the horn to look like an antelope horn so I'm going to curve it to make it look like an S. When you make a new bend, it creates a new vertice. It's pretty intuitive, pretty fast you'll get it. Every time I size down the top part, it leaves some gaps so I just keep increasing the count. This is great for working with worms, maybe you gotta model some like air conditioning ducts. In less than two minutes, I got this amazing looking horn. I smooth things out and then I voxel merge it. This merges all the little tiny biscuits. Invert the crease tool to give it some sharpness. Turn off symmetry here and do that to the left side. Now it looks like a cornucopia. I save it as horn. Now it's an asset and I can add it to any project. I open up the mask I'm working on. I ended up deleting this, but you just add the scene and you can size it down and place it anywhere in your scene. This is a great asset for when I need horns for my object.